Today I want to talk about pizza. I love pizza so much, probably too much. But since I moved out of London, it's been really hard to find really nice pizza that I enjoy. Sure, you can get Domino's, but does anyone really like Domino's for being pizza? I personally don't. You can get some decent ones in the supermarkets, but they're all really expensive. So today I'm going to take a stab at making my own pizza using an Uni Fira, which is a portable pizza oven that Rachel has kindly lent me. And if I like it, she said I can keep it. So fingers crossed and let's make some pizza. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using today. It is a 12 inch Uni Fira that Rachel has brought me. It's a little tiny pizza oven, but it can cook really amazing pizzas, she tells me. I'm going to try it out and see how easy it is to use and whether I want to keep it. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is light it and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in case you have one of these at home or you're thinking of buying one. To light it, we come around here to the back and just pull out this little grill thing here. And then we just need to get some pellets. These are little wood pellets that you can buy on Uni's website. And you then you just fill up the tray like that, very easy. Once that's full, you need to get a little fire lighter like this, and then you just pop that on there, pretty easy. Get your lighter, set that on fire, like so. Then once that's lit, just pop it right back into the oven, easy. This is like a little hopper that you feed more pellets into. Don't want to put any in right now because it might make the fire go out. So just wait a little bit for those pellets to catch a light and then we'll start feeding a few more pellets in here bit by bit, get the temperature up and then we'll be ready to cook. Okay, so the oven looks almost ready to cook. Next, I'm going to make my pizza. Got some dough here lovely next i'm gonna stretch it i watched a youtube video on how to do this and i couldn't do it that way last time i tried when i was making pizzas in our regular oven so instead i've adopted my own technique which might annoy some of you guys i'm just gonna go around and do this i can probably say immediately it's not going to be round okay so just pulling it around like that as I go out, already not at all round. And then I just wiggle it from side to side and it stretches out. Probably looks very stupid, but it seems to kind of work. Sorry, Rachel is laughing. Quiet. Rachel's laughing. laughing behind the camera. <laughs> I think that will have to do with my dough. Next, I'm gonna put some sauce on it. Rachel has kindly made some homemade tomato sauce. She's let me use some of it although she's put the lid on very tight, so I think that might be sabotage. Lovely, let me just grab a spoon. I don't actually have cheese on my pizza, because I hate cheese. So I usually put on a bit more tomato sauce than most people, just so that it's not dry. Although I have seen a few comments on my pizza vlog, the pizza robot vlog, commenting that oh, I had cheese on my pizza. Yes, I occasionally have cheese on my pizza, but I usually have something like mozzarella, which doesn't really have much flavour, because it's the flavour of cheese that I can't stand. You are going for it, girl. Lovely. You're braver person than I am. Yeah, are you thinking this might just go I'm, through the I'd dough? I'd just be terrified of getting that in the oven. Oh. Thanks. Ready. I have every faith in you. You've been looking for You know what you're doing. I mean, I've made pizza before, just not with the uh, pizza oven. Next, I'm adding some chorizo. I like a spicy pizza. Not too much. I mean, it's just quite a lot. <laughs> not Boom. too much, just more than anyone would ever have that. Pizza. Lovely. Next, I'm going to add some, what I call nudger, but Rachel tells me it's called... I mean, I think I'm wrong as well. I call it nudger. Nudger. Andouja, so I'm going to put some andouja, which is basically a spicy meat paste. Sounds delicious, I know. <laughs> and what's interesting about this is that it stains more than anything I've ever touched. So by the end of this video, I'll probably have bright orange hands. It's quite oily, this. 
So whenever I make pizzas in the oven, I stick it near the crusts. So I got that nice oily nudger crust bit there. Lovely, bright orange fingers. Put that back in its packet. Very like food time on brand. Yeah. And I'm gonna finish it off with some, oh, I call these roquito peppers, but it looks like whatever well, supermarket I bought these from call them sweet drop peppers. I do not have a teaspoon for them, so I shall be right back. This pizza is gonna be epic, Lucy. Okay, I am back with a teaspoon. And I really like these, so I'm gonna put quite a few on, I think. Boom, perfect. How's my oven doing? He's looking pretty good. This has been the easy bit, I think. The hard bit is probably going to be A, getting that from there onto my pizza peel and B, putting it in the oven. Rachel, I said there's a little trick to it, so I'm just sort of flick it like that. So I'm gonna try and do that, but don't fare my chances. Maybe I should have made this pizza a little bit smaller. Okay. So far, not too bad. I probably should have floured this first. Oh well, you learn. At least I don't have to worry about it losing its round shape because it's not round to start with. Now, to put it in, if I can. I believe in you, Lucy Brown. You got the girl. Oh, yes! Straight in. This feels like you could properly I whack know, someone right? with it. It's, like but it's really thin, so it'd probably like not hurt yeah. much. Okay, there's little peep holes here so I can see how the pizza's doing. It might already be time to give it a little spin with my weapon. Oh, looking like a pizza. If not a square one. It's looking good. What I hate the most about making pizzas in the oven, and I've tried a lot of different ways of making pizza at home because I really love pizza. I've tried in the oven and it's always a little bit soggy or dry and the underneath is never right, it gets a bit biscuity sometimes. I've tried it in a frying pan, which is better than the oven, but it's still not great. It sort of gets a bit gooey. I've never managed to cook it perfectly. It's either a bit overdone or the dough's a bit raw. So I've never really managed to get it perfect. This might be the answer to all my problems. Rachel, what's your favourite pizza toppings? I'm not going to lie, what you've got right there, which I'm hopefully going to be able to have a good mouthful of, I would definitely go for that. I think we are done. Oh yeah. Look at that. Can I use your mega knife to cut it up? You can use my mega knife. Rachel has got the most deadly weapon. You think this is a weapon? Wait till you see her head cutter off her. Where is my weapon? Look at this, it's really heavy. It's basically a little moon thing that you can just do that and it'll cut the pizza up. I'm gonna go like that. Straight through. Straight through, lovely. It's quite a hard shape to, to cut this. <laughs> um, go like that again. Straight through again. Oh, I've made a flag. Is it a country that exists? United, it's an Union Jack. Uh, okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna try this little piece here. I shall burn my mouth for the sake of this pizza. Oh, I lost a bit. Really hot. Mmm. It's so worth it though. Oh my God, that is amazing. Rachel? I'm gonna have to try this. Try some? I'm gonna magic hand it, except I'm not, because I'm just in shock. <laughs> Thank you, Lucy Brown. Okay, Rachel is taking her first bite. That's banging. Yeah? I can't really wait any longer to finish eating this pizza, so I'm gonna finish the video here. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like, 
subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.